What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL Week 4 Sleeper Picks. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to give you some of my top DFS sleeper picks, super low priced and low ownership players that could crush value this week and give your lineup an advantage over the field. These are risky plays, meant for large tournaments only. Don't go all in on any of these guys. They are high risk, high reward picks. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, NFL week four. Let's take a look at the quarterback position. So my sleeper pick at the quarterback position is Matthew Stafford from the Detroit Lions playing the New Orleans Saints who have the fifth worst defense overall and they give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Matthew Stafford has averaged 17.6 fantasy points per game on the season getting an average of 2.3 rush attempts per game. He scored 19 fantasy points last week. He has Kenny Galladay back Kenny Galladay had a nice week last week and his first game back from injury, so we know he's fully healthy. And the New Orleans Saints have a lot of injuries with their defensive backs, so Matthew Stafford has a nice advantage here, and he's going to be about 6% owned. Projected at 19.7 fantasy points here in week four, he's 5,900 DraftKings salary and 1,300 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks this is going to be a high scoring game, 54 points scored in this game, and they have the Detroit Lions trailing by three. So you got an injured defense, you have a great matchup, a high scoring game, and a passing game script. So I think he should be much higher owned than 6%. So I like Matthew Stafford here versus the New Orleans Saints. Okay, and the other sleeper pick at the quarterback position is Ryan Fitzpatrick from the Miami Dolphins playing the Seattle Seahawks, who have the second worst defense overall, and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Ryan Fitzpatrick has averaged 20.3 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of five rush attempts per game. He scored 25 and 27 fantasy points in the last two games. He's going to be about 6% owned here, projected at 19.5 fantasy points here in week four. He's 5,400 DraftKings salary and 1,700 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 54.5 points scored in this game with the Miami Dolphins trailing by five and a half. He's got a fantastic matchup, high scoring game, passing game script so I like Ryan Fitzpatrick here versus the Seattle Seahawks okay let's take a look at the running back position my week four running back sleeper pick is Devin Singletary from the Buffalo Bills playing the Las Vegas Raiders who have the 12th worst defense overall and they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing running backs Devin Singletary, he's only averaged 12 fantasy points per game on the season off of 10.7 rush attempts and five pass targets. He's only going to be about 4% owned here on the field for 67% of the snaps, touches the ball 34% of that time. He's projected at 13.5 fantasy points here in week four, but I think he can get you close to 20 fantasy points this week. He's 5,900 DraftKings salary and 100 more on FanDuel. So I like that FanDuel price. So Vegas thinks there's going to be 52.5 points scored in this game with the Buffalo Bills favored by three and a half. So he's got a great matchup, high scoring game, and it looks like the Buffalo Bills will be leading in this game. So Devin Singletary could get more volume. So I like Devin Singletary here versus the Las Vegas Raiders. 
Another sleeper pick at the running back position. I like Daryl Henderson Jr. from the LA Rams playing the New York Giants who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they give up the ninth most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Daryl Henderson Jr. has averaged 14.2 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 11.7 rush attempts per game, but he scored 22 and 20 fantasy points in the last two weeks off of 20 rush attempts, 12 rush attempts, and three pass targets in both of those games. So he got 23 touches last game. I like to see that. And he's going to be about 8% owned. He is projected at 15 fantasy points here in week four. And he's 5,800 DraftKings salary and 600 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 48 points scored in this game. But the reason I like this pick is because they have the, the Rams favored by 13 and a half. So Daryl Henderson Jr. could get a ton of volume here. So I like Daryl Henderson Jr. here versus the New York Giants. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL, MLB is still going, NBA is right around the corner. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the wide receiver position. One of my sleeper picks here at the wide receiver position is Traquan Smith from the New Orleans Saints playing the Detroit Lions who have the fourth worst defense overall and they give up the eighth most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Traquan Smith, he's only averaged 7.7 .7 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 4.7 pass targets per game but in the two games that Michael Thomas has been out, which will be the case this week, he scored eight and 14 fantasy points off of six and seven pass targets. So he's gonna be about 6% owned on the field for 84% of the snaps, touches the ball 9% of that time. He's projected at 11.9 fantasy points here in week four. He's 5,000 DraftKings salary, and 300 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 54 points scored in this game. They have the Saints favored by three. He's got a nice matchup here. So I like Traquan Smith here versus the Detroit Lions. Another wide receiver that I like is Marvin Jones Jr. from the Detroit Lions playing the New Orleans Saints, who have the fifth worst defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing wide receivers. Marvin Jones Jr. has averaged 10 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 5.7 pass targets per game, and he's only gonna be about 3% owned. He's on the field for 91% of the snaps, touches the ball 9% of that time. He's projected at 13 fantasy points here in week four. He's only 4,900 DraftKings salary, and 1,100 more on FanDuel. So I like that DraftKings price. Now we know Vegas thinks there's gonna be 54 points scored in this game. So a high scoring game with a potential passing game script here for Matthew Stafford and Marvin Jones Jr. They should be, well, they, uh, Vegas has them trailing by three. So I like Marvin Jones Jr. here versus the New Orleans Saints. Okay, before we move on, I'm going to give you a super deep dart throw sleeper pick here. If DeAndre Hopkins misses this game, and only if DeAndre Hopkins is out, I like Keyshawn Johnson from the Arizona Cardinals playing the Carolina Panthers, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they're middle of the pack defending opposing wide receivers. Now, Keyshawn Johnson has only averaged 
4.4 fantasy points per game on the season. He got seven pass targets last game, scored four fantasy points. He's on the field for 62% of the snaps, touched the ball 15% of that time. So he got some nice volume last game. And if DeAndre Hopkins is going to be out, he's projected at 5.8 fantasy points here in week four, but he's only 3,000 DraftKings salary. So he's minimum salary. He's 1,500 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 51.5 points scored in this game with the Arizona Cardinals favored by three. You got to give Keyshawn Johnson a look. Minimum salary player, almost no ownership on this guy. So if DeAndre Hopkins is out, I think Keyshawn Johnson makes a nice sleeper pick here versus the Carolina Panthers. Okay, moving on to the tight end position. My sleeper pick at the tight end position is Dalton Schultz from the Dallas Cowboys playing the Cleveland Browns who have the 10th worst defense overall and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing tight ends. Dalton Schultz has averaged 11.2 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 6.7 pass targets per game. He's only going to be about 4% owned here. He's on the field for 69% of the snaps, touches the ball 12% of that time. He's projected at 8.8 .8 fantasy points here in week four, and he's 4,300 DraftKings salary and 600 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 56 points scored in this game with the Dallas Cowboys favored by four. He's got a nice matchup here, high scoring game. So I like Dalton Schultz here versus the Cleveland Browns. The other sleeper pick at the tight end position is Logan Thomas from the Washington football team playing the Baltimore Ravens who have a good defense overall but they give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing tight ends. Logan Thomas has averaged 9.1 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of eight pass targets per game. So that's nice volume. He's going to be about 7% owned on the field for 83% of the snaps, touches the ball 14% of that time. He's projected at 10.1 fantasy points here in week four. And he's only 3,500 DraftKings salary, and he's 1,400 more on FanDuel. So Vegas thinks there's going to be 45.5 points scored in this game. And they have the Washington football team trailing by 13 and a half. So this is going to be a passing game script for the Washington football team. It's a nice positional matchup here. So I like Logan Thomas here versus the Baltimore Ravens. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NFL slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.